Legum Sfidern. What are we installing? We are installing some Typher Legum Sfidern's. Try again. <laughs> Typher Legum Sfidern's. <laughs> One more time. Typher Legum Sfidern's. Typher Legum Typher Legum Sfidern. As well as... We're going to be installing a Typher Legum Sfidern kit. And it came with some some Kopol Stangen, some Gewinder Verstellen mints, some some Sportos dampers, and some Gewin Gewin dampers, Gewin de dampers. I feel like that's how. Downwind dampers. Yes. Yeah, downwind. Yeah. What's going on, guys? We got coilovers for the golf. So we're gonna get rid of these horrible springs. Well, not really horrible. They work. They do the job, but it's not low enough. Look at this. Look. Do that again. <laughs> so we're gonna be replacing we're gonna be replacing the entire strut that's on the car. So the the strut that has the lowering springs on it with these aftermarket Typher Leaking Speeders. Feet, yeah, whatever they're called. Feeders. So we've got uh, an entire McPherson strut for the front with two different rate coils. So this is gonna make the ride kind of comfy, but at the same time it's gonna be somewhat stiff, so that we're gonna have a lowered car and we're not gonna be you know scraping everywhere. So that's gonna be going on the front. And on the back, we have a kit that's slightly different. So the, sh so the spring that we have right here is gonna be attached to the car, and we're gonna have a new damper. Or no, what is it called? A, a sportsman damper. A sportsman's damper. Yep. This is gonna be replacing the OEM damper that's on the car. Yellow from a horsepower. And Luca, where's that other cup that's, oh. is it down there? So the rear suspension is slightly different from the front, so it's got a different design for this coilover kit. So. This is going to be changing our ride height, and this is going to be sitting underneath the spring. So, if you guys want to see a full DIY on how to install coilovers, I'll have a link for it in the description box. I've done it before on my Accord. I'll have a link on how to install them and how to adjust them. But today, we're going to be throwing some more coilovers on the Golf. So I'm not going to go into a full DIY for this video, but you guys know the gist of it. We have to take the wheels off so we have access to our OEM strut right here with our aftermarket lowering spring. We're gonna be taking this entire assembly out and replacing it with a new strut that we're gonna be able to adjust the ride height on. Now the strut that we have right here, we cannot change the dampening or rebound on it. However, that's what you get with a set of cheaper coilovers. We got these on eBay and we'll see how they do. So we're gonna be slapping these in and we're gonna be able to get the car super low. And Glenn, you gotta kinda of walk through this. Your thoughts? Oh, hi. <laughs> So, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what's going on? Uh, loosening this, right? Okay, this bolt? Yep, you're gonna be loosening the bolt on the back side of the spindle. I'll wait till he realizes that he needs to put a, a wrench on this side. Okay guys, we can just not talk about that. Yeah, we're gonna edit that out. <laughs> yes. I remember my first time. Okay. Okay, so round one. Yeah, round one. Yeah. <laughs> round one point two. Okay. Yep. Slide on the. Okay, you're making that really difficult, but whatever works. Why? Nothing. No reason. One sec. Let me. That was so. Loose. No. Where's my light? Louis? Hmm? Where did I put my light? On the side. Oh, there it is. You are a very, very smart individual. Thank you. That right? Good. Well, I'll be helping you for this. Good. Okay, so that bolt, we're going to need a new one of those things when we install it because that's a stretch bolt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to set that aside. So remove any brake lines or sensors that we have going to the uh, to the spindle so we can take it off the strut. Yep. That's got to come out. Disconnected. Um, that's it. What else? No, oh, that's this. on there too. So you might have to transfer over that little bracket right there for the wheel speed sensor. Yep. Um, but as it stands, this should be good. So we're gonna need a hammer. We're gonna beat the spindle just slightly off, um, off the strut. And then afterwards, we're gonna come on top of the strut and loosen up that bolt. Okay, so give it a hit and we should be able to, yeah. Hello. Okay, do you see what's happening? Yes, I see. Okay, do you know what you have to do afterwards? Um, 
catch it from falling? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I want to do that. <laughs> yes. So just get ready for it. Hey, move the impact gun out of the way. It doesn't help you there. It's okay. It's only my tools you're going to break. Yeah, that's fine. fine. Yeah. It's only my money. Perfect. It's not mine. So. <laughs> By the way, how heavy is this, just so I'm expecting? Uh, it's not too bad, because you still have the lower control arm supporting it along like, with the axle. Is it going to be like a 5 pound thing, or like a 50? Well, it, like the weight of it itself is that probably a lot, but you're not going to have a lot of force pushing it down. Okay, so like I'm probably only going to have You're going to be okay, yeah. Right. yeah. Luca, if it's not moving anywhere when you keep hitting it, it's not going to do anything if you well, do Well, I'm not exactly... Disconnect the sway bar. There's a bolt down there on the bottom that's going to take it out. What, do you, what do you think it is? 15? Yeah, Money. Is it actually that size? Yeah. Zach, what size do you think it is? I said it's not going to be a 15. Luca, what size is it? 17. That's a 17. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I think he knows what he's doing. <laughs> There, okay, so that's for the sway bar. So take that out, Ooh. save that, we're gonna need that. That's green lube. Yeah, good. Keep the green lube somewhere safe. <laughs> now hit it again. See how it's going down now? Yeah. Look Ooh, at this guy. Yo, weight savings. What? <laughs> Look at this! Ooh. Car's gonna be that much faster. Okay, so now it's out. Yep. Okay. All right. That's done. Okay, so now that it's loose from down here, we have to go up top. Okay? Yep. Now, if you guys ask me, installing coilovers is a lot easier than even installing lowering springs on the car. Because with lowering springs, you have to disassemble the shock, replace the spring, and then install the new spring back onto the strut. And you have to close it, you know, make sure it's safe. Now, when you're switching up to coilovers, all you're doing is taking out the strut and replacing it with the aftermarket one. Yes. Yo, look, you're sick. What size do you think it is? Uh, it's a uh, three mil. Close. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it's a 20. One. 21. See, look, it's a 21. Yeah, see, I told you. Let me have like a little bit of a free time right now. Where okay, ask judged. me any questions and I won't make fun of you. All right. What is the inside um, bolt for? That is an Allen. If you want to hold the Allen and uh, loosen up the bolt that's in there. Okay. You should be able to just use the 21 mil socket, remove that bolt, and the strut will be free from underneath. All right, well, I'll give it a shot. Okay, one second. Keep in mind what happens when you do that. It's gonna drop. Yes, okay, so, be, so get ready to catch it. Be useful when you do something. No, see, I'm cameraman. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just telling you what to do. All right, so then you wanna do this? Sure. Okay, you can give me be this. useful and do nothing. Okay, I'm gonna drop this on your new fender. Oh my. What? I'm gonna okay. drop this on your new fender. Okay, ready? How heavy is the strut? It's not too heavy. Okay. Come on, you got muscles. It looks like you're taking a dump. Okay, yep, ready? Here we go. I did. Okay, ready? Yeah. All squeeze, you hold on to it, okay? Right. Don't drop it. Ready? Yep. Oh shit, I dropped it. Make sure you hold on to it pretty good, okay? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll got the right. Check, it's off yeah. camera. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Squeezing? Yeah, I'm squeezing. Don't okay. squeeze too hard. Okay. You might get calluses, right? <laughs> yeah, you might get calluses. <laughs> Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, hold on to it. All right, yeah. Get a good grip. Mm -hmm. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, and here I go. Oh! One sec, a little more. Oh my god. Did it hurt? Yep. Did yeah, it it's hurt? hurting. It's hurting? Yeah. Okay. Ah. I forced it. Right, did it hurt you too much or are you okay down there? A little bit, there? but I'm okay. Hey, did it drop? Uh, a little bit, but can, a bit more. Can you find it or no? Yeah, I can find it. <laughs> So anything that's on this strut that we need, we need to transfer over to the new one. So we have, was it you? No. <laughs> it smells horrible. Good. Guys, this is a question. If I do undo that bolt, what will happen? Oh, you're gonna die. No, actually, yeah. Well, it depends on, can you please stop dying? <laughs> Holy no, damn. One sec. Look at this thing, let's go take a closer look. What? Oh my gosh. What was it? No, hit it. Yo, it's smoking. 
It's on that side, I think. Oh, yeah, right here. Is it? Oh, you can see the beam going through it. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Okay, if you take that off, you have to be careful because depending on how much preload is on the spring, it might shoot up, okay? Now, the reason, I know that there's not that much preload on there because I installed those springs, okay? So you can take that off. Get a blanket. Just put your foot on it. Yeah, get your foot on it and stay right above it. Like, like it? <laughs> yeah, do that. Put your foot on it and go <laughs> Like, actually go get a blanket? Yes, get a, get a towel or something. Don't forget to bring a towel. <laughs> What do you think of him installing it? Yup. <laughs> it's getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Not quick, but we're getting somewhere. Okay, so put the bottom end of the strut in the towel. And then fold the towel over top of it. No, lay it down. Lay it down. Yep, like that. And then wrap that end over top of it. If only you could just freaking stay. Okay, and move it over. Okay, so with the impact gun in the socket, hold it up. And you're gonna be removing the little top bolt on top. Okay, don't hold it. Don't? Do not hold it, if anything, put your foot on it. Yeah, like that. Or, yeah, that works. Fine. Yeah. Are you getting it? Yeah. Close. See? Yeah. What I'm saying is if there was a lot of preload on here, yeah, if that... Fly off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, the blanket would absorb it. Yeah. So because you're holding this end, if this were to shoot out, it would fling out that way into the blanket and you wouldn't be killing anyone. Okay, so what do I need from this? Well, take a look at the, old, take a look at the new strut and we'll find out. I don't know what I'm doing. I hope you know. Yeah, well, <laughs> everyone on the internet knows that too. <laughs> Uh, do I put it on like this, or...? Okay, so that goes over top. Good. Yep, that on top. And then you're gonna be using this bushing, or this nut to go over top. What was that? That was the old one from the strut, right? This is the thing that just secured these. The old one. Yeah, the, the old, old one. one. Okay, so this is the new one. So then how are you gonna attach that to... I gotta are you sure that was right? I don't think that's right. That's <laughs> what... That's what went on it. Hold this. Yeah. Like okay, so because we have this plate there, we don't need this one that came off of that strut. So we're going to be leaving that with there. We don't need that. We're going to have, one sec, we can move your hand. So we have the strut. Okay, so we have the coilover. We have the bearing on there like that. A little rubber piece. And then this. And then that nut over top. Okay, so once you tighten that up, we're going to be able to reinstall this back on the car. So to make sure that the coils are going to be able to work properly and the car is going to be riding, you know, fairly well, we want to make sure that the spring, so the total size of the coilover is the same from the driver's side to the passenger side. So whatever length you have from this to here needs to be the same for both springs, for both struts. That way the car isn't going to be jouncing one way over a bump differently from the other side of the car. So we're going to grab a measuring tape, measure this up and make sure that it's both the same for both sides. So we have both the passenger side and the driver side, tie for Legan's feeders, uh, removed from the car, and we're just measuring up so they're both the same. And we measured them out, they're both good to go. Now if we have any fine tweaking or adjustments to do down the road, we can adjust them while they're on the car. But as it stands, these are good to go. So we're going to slap both the driver side and passenger side struts back onto the car. So the struts are in, they're both the equal length on both sides. Spindles tightened up, so we have to put the wheel spacer on the front side of the brake. And now the wheel. So this is the moment of truth. The wheel is gonna be going on. And we're gonna see how much lower this is. Now keep in mind the suspension is still gonna settle and we still have the rears to lower. So there's no weight on the car, there's no weight on the strut, but we're gonna see how much lower this actually is. Holy crap, yeah, that's a lot better. Actually, I'm check the camber. Uh, let's see. Negative four. Camber looks on point. Actually? Yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. Sweet, because I don't have camber adjustment on, like, on Mark IV. Yeah, usually with these, you won't go. You won't go into camber, really, unless you fucking drill out the top. Okay, so, camber. that is done-ish for the front. 
Now it's time for the bag. So that's a lot lower than the OEM. So right now the jack is supporting the weight of the car. Yep. So this has pressure on it. So that's basically how low the car is going to be once we put it on the ground. Now give it a week or two, it's going to be slightly lower only because the springs are going to fully, you know, set in place. And then we're going to be good to go. So, all right. So now that we're onto the back, we have the shock right here and the spring separate from each other. So on the fronts we had them combined and that's called a McPherson strut. On the rear, this is different. This is completely independent. So we're gonna be replacing those two bolts right there. We're gonna take those out so we can replace the shock. It's connected to the top there. And then under here with that one bolt. Yeah, right there. So once that's out, we should have enough room to push down on the axle and replace the spring that's in there for this aftermarket one that came with our, um, what's the coilover kit called? The uh, Typher Ligrens Frudern. Yes, that was yes. <laughs> But I believe these rear ones are called the Sportsland Dampfers. These are Sportsland Dampfers? Yes, I, I, I think so. Yes, okay, well, yeah. That's the game plan. Um, let's see how it actually goes. Germany for the win. Continue? Yeah, keep going. Take it out. See, that's out. And then with it like this, we should be able to push down on that side of the axle, and we should have enough room to remove this spring and install the other one. Right, Jack? Precisely. Look at that exhaust. Put there, Jimmy. There you go. Okay, so that's the back side of the damper out. Actually, I think I'm gonna take out the top too. Do it, I dare you. All right, I'll do it. Fais laisse sinon t'es fif, ok? Quoi? Fais laisse sinon t'es fif. Je ne sais pas qu'est-ce que tu as dit. Okay. So the rear end is going to be very simple. I don't think. Oh. It's a lot easier. It's legit just remove a couple bolts and then everything's done. So there's that. Now we got to transfer this to the new one. Just the top hat part? Yeah. Take the cap off from the top. And there's a the bolt. <coughs> yes, breathe that in. Good idea. Okay, I don't know how to take out the spring. Push! On what? Push down on the fucking. Yeah! Push! Put your foot on it, Sally. See? Okay, first off, don't do that because the entire car shakes. Yeah. There we go. Push. I'll pull her out. She's just stuck on the rubber. See, there we go. Bottom's out. Oh, shit. Don't get your face in there if that's what you want to do. Oh, I need to pull it out. Do you want me to step? Yeah. Okay. Let's step. Alright. Get it? Yeah. Done. Okay. So that springs out. Wait, compare it to the other one. <laughs> okay, wait one second. Let's get this good. Yeah, that's gonna be sweet. Okay, so this the difference in the spring size is not gonna make a difference in the uh, in the ride height at all. This is just gonna be changing how how the car rides on the road. So this right here is a progressive spring, as you can tell. So the bottom part is, is wound tighter than the top. So that's different from this one. So this is gonna give us a pretty good ride quality while the car is gonna be lower than OEM. Oh, wait, hold up one sec, we forgot something. Hmm. No, that doesn't go like that. You have to oh, put right. that yeah, on there that. as well. <laughs> ah. Okay, so that's gonna make a big difference on how the car uh. rides. Don't judge, guys. We know what we're doing, I hope. No. No, we don't. Not a clue. <laughs> we don't know a damn thing about this stuff. So which way it goes up? Uh, that part goes upwards. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> Was that gorilla? Zach, what are you doing? Wiping shit. <laughs> I don't think it's clean enough. It's actually not. See it? What am I looking for? The smudge marks? Yeah, the... It, uh, it's the that little schmutz, the stuff that the camera's not focusing on. Yeah. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, Luca. Yo, come here. What's up? Okay, so we found out how to do this. So the top rubber mount goes on the top of the spring, and on the bottom we have this part. So this is the ride height adjustment. So we have the top part right there. If you can see the first collar up top that's touching the spring, that is gonna be changing our ride height. On the bottom part, 
we have the other collar right there and that's gonna go and mount up to this. However, this part, this entire metal part needs to be fit inside the bottom side um, right there of the perch. So that is essentially where the strut or where the shock is gonna be put into the suspension. So we're gonna slide it in like that over top. And then the second collar is gonna be attached from underneath. And that's what's gonna be securing it in place. So we need to push, push on the top part to push that in. There you go, that's in place. And then from the bottom side, you're gonna put the bottom collar. Look at one sec, don't put it in. Show me in the camera. <laughs> See where it is. It's right, right in there. So you guys can probably see this better than my brother. Right there. So that second collar, we're gonna be putting that on there and threading it on so that the little metal part doesn't move around when we're driving. So we're pushing the bottom end of the car up so we can put the strut or the shock. Look, you gotta adjust it, push it in. We're sliding the shock in place. There we go. Keep yep. jacking. Or is it? Luke, you gotta do the driving. Pushing it up isn't gonna do anything. Yeah. Oh. It's gotta come back towards me. So now with the shock absorber in place, down, 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 no, nope, out, right there. Push that in. Zach, move your hand. Tap it. There you go, in. So now like that, we can push that in, screw this into the front, and then we're gonna be able to install that little silver part on the bottom side of here. So if you can, install this when this is perfectly straight, because otherwise it's gonna be pretty difficult to thread in the second collar on the bottom. What's that? So this side over here on the driver's side of the car is done. Now surprisingly, these coils have a lot of sag compared to my BCs. However, with a little bit of pressure on the wheel, the car is gonna sit a lot lower, I can guarantee it. So we have the aftermarket spring shock and the ride height adjustment right there, all set up on this side. And now we're finally moving over to the passenger side to finish up right here, the rear right. So once we have this done, the coils are all done. All right, so here's the moment of truth. We've got all four coils on. We've got the passenger side lowered, and here comes the driver's side. Let's see how low it is. Oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so it's a little too low for the car. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna be using the ramps. Turn around, yep. Alrighty, so here we go. We have the wheels completely lowered on the ground. And from the looks of it, it's pretty damn spot on. Looks like I'm kind of blocking the light a little bit. But yeah, so we're gonna let these springs and the coils and everything settle. And then if we need to adjust them, probably in a week or so, we're gonna change it. But as it stands, the car looks great the way it is. We might lower it, we might change it, but yeah, there we go, there are the coils. So when a set of coilovers like this, we can change the ride height and we can change the preload. Unfortunately, we cannot change the dampening and rebound because these coilovers, the shocks don't have the setting. However, that's what you get with a set of budget coilovers. These things, they do the job, they work, and they're gonna get us from A to B while looking really nice. We're gonna keep you guys updated whether or not the coilovers are actually nice driving on the road or not. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So my little brother's just torquing up the wheels, finishing everything up, and then we're done. Now the difference between, say, a set of coilovers like this that we installed today and lowering springs is that we can adjust the ride height and make the car lower or higher should we choose. With just a set of lowering springs, you're not gonna be able to choose any kind of ride height or dampening options at all with that. All that you can do is lower it or keep the OEM springs in it and keep it high. Other than that, this is a great way to lower your car and it's, this is actually very inexpensive. The set of coilovers that we have here, we picked up on eBay, they're a set of, you know, eBay coilovers. They're nothing fancy, they're Techniques, Typher Ligens Fudens, or whatever the heck they're called. Typher Ligens Fergens. Yeah, those. Yeah. So I mean, we know we're getting good German stuff, but yeah, as it stands, that's how you install the coilovers. If you have any questions regarding the video, throw them down in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to help. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
Okay, so your thoughts? Oh, <laughs> handling is a lot better. Yeah. What would you say coilovers? Yeah? No? Oh, Good? yes. Even eBay ones, if you're going to solidly track the car, I say sack up, get some BCs, some Bilstein, stuff like that. Regular day and like odd track, eBay is, it's fine. At least so far. So. Well, so far it's been 20 minutes. Let alone like 23. But. but, you know, first impressions, yeah? Yeah, they're nice. Sweet. No weird noises, no explosions. And I'm still alive, so that's good. No blown struts yet. Yep, so, well, let's keep you guys posted. So, guys, next step is take this clamp off. Okay, and then, yep, there you go. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Loosen the nut. Off the tip of the shaft. <laughs> Stick it right in the hole. Hold on a sec, you just gotta find it. It's, it's a bit big, so it's hard to find. There you go. And then, just retighten the nut. And grab your nut and spin it. Back on the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay.